this is Nikki and I'm here to share all the messages that I get from Spirit and all of our higher selves <clears throat> that are helping us back on this journey to unconditional love. Love of the journey, love of each other and love of our divine twins and to get back to each other into our reunion. So I'm being guided to set up this channel to do a crystal grid which uses holy fire reiki energies and I infuse pieces of rose quartz that I send to you with the energies and it harmonizes the energies between you and your twin and brings you into balance so that you can come into your reunions and anchors as above so below brings the spirit world into your physical reality right it also I'm guided to do a divine healing so H for <laughs> healing and H for harmony and H's seem to be all over the place today um the healing basically I connect to your twin souls and I give you the messages that your twin that your souls want you to know I see everything like a film and basically I send that to you with a write-up um, and a guided mantra which if you say it will align your energies again to bring them into harmony and also I do a three card angel reading. And so this is just a roundup of, of a few of the messages for today because honestly it's gone, it's gone absolutely crackers. It really has. I mean... I'm just getting totally astounded at, you know, the amount of messages that every single one of us is getting and it's brilliant and I love that we're all feeling very, and H for happy, right, as well. So I've received two different H's today. Um, I know this is, this is, the H is very topical at the moment. So basically this H arrived on somebody's doorstep, literally. And then another lady sent me this one, and this one I said about this morning in the mustard shoes. She saw an H and it was on a mustard wall, which is just brilliant. Um, so I'm going to share a few of the messages. One thing, the thing that I've seen in healing has been very much uh, today has been a lot about this, the, the divine masculine not feeling um uh, like that they're in the right position right that they are they have this belief that love is going to hurt them they have a belief that they can't trust it they have a belief that um they're not in the right place financially and they're not good enough and there's lots of that a lot of kind of i would say I think that, well, so to, to, to this uh, beautiful depiction of it, the, la the latest healing that I just did, he was on one side of a brick wall and he was telling me that he doesn't feel good and he, on the other side, um, his twin was elevated on a pedestal and was an angel and so for him, she was so good and so pure and so perfect in his eyes um that it made him feel worse right because he wanted to be that but he needed the courage and he needed to you know open up his heart to be able to do that so that's been quite a common theme today in the healings so i'm just going to share um to, and then th i'm just going to share some feedback that people have sent through today this is just a couple of the um, things that have come through and then what I'm going to share is this uh, little girl who's a daughter of um, somebody that I received a note from this little girl is only nine years old she's called Anna and last night she started writing um, a note down and her mum found it today and her mum has sent it to me and it is about twin flames and this girl is nine years old the amazing thing about this is when I say that we're all mirroring each other, another lady from the grid I noticed had made a comment, and I must comment back, she was the first person to, to join the grid that has a rainbow child. So, you know, on the same day, two people with children, with notes, and I mean, it's just, this is how much we mirror each other, right? It's amazing. So, and this is what I found on the street the other day. This is, oh, can you see that? It's actually a gold, it's a blue, um, it's a blue sign with gold stars and a ring around it, right? So blue Archangel Michael, gold stars and a ring, a ring, a never-ending circle, what goes, what starts, 
you know, basically eternal, eternity, right? So I'm just going to read these out. So, so many things have happened since your beautiful healing session. Thank you. When you spoke about pearls and being in the water, I'm a cancer sun sign on my birthday and is pearls and I love water. I have a thing with dolphins and in my house I have a sculpture with two dolphins in it with hearts. I've been seeing 11s everywhere as, as well as 8s and, his, and the number 15. The other day I had a dream and he came to visit me, which has never happened before. I remember seeing his face just pop up in my dream and we were holding hands walking somewhere and it was a bright sunny day with blue skies. I also had a dream where his mother came to visit me the other day as well. She passed into the spirit realm about six months, uh, six years ago. He has such a strong connection with her and he is choosing to pursue his career and hopes to save others' lives because he couldn't save hers. Oh, wow. He is studying to be a neurosurgeon. I've been feeling his presence more and more lately and I feel he has gone into hermit phase right now. I'm going to visit my old university later this month for an event, plus to see my friends and he will be there as well. I was told to go back there by spirit months ago, since the last time I saw him. I do not know what will happen, but I feel something big is going to happen. I just wanted to update you on my journey and have a nice day. Well, thank you so much, because, you know, that's what happens. When you have this healing, the energy shifts, right? A block is removed, which allows you to then see signs, messages, come for them, uh, for them to come to you in their dreams, various things, right? So it basically lifts off the veil of um, uh, blankness, basically, and allows the light in. And the next one. Hi, I just went for a 10 minute walk and saw the colour mustard everywhere. Even the letter H on a mustard, mustard coloured wall. This is so much fun. <laughs> she says, I was just about to tell you that the... And then she sent me a picture. This is brilliant. She then went... This lady then went shopping. Um, when she went... Sorry, hang on. Because this is well funny. Uh, let me just move it over here. Uh, sorry about this. So she then sends me a picture of when she went shopping. When she went shopping, there was an Audi. She had an Audi car, right? And the Audi car, she was saying that she she was thinking that she was going to shopping to IKEA. The funny thing about that is that my twin, he actually another thing that he does is assemble furniture. And uh, he's got a furniture assembly business, and he works for IKEA. So, or does some clients with Ikea. So this is brilliant. The other thing is, is that this, she goes, I think we're a bit ambitious trying to get all of that in our Audi. This, I thought was a bottle of wine on the side. It really made me chuckle because me and my twin, we used to drink a lot. And, um, and so why, when she came back, she said, actually, that's a, it's a, it's a cider bottle with apples. I was like, oh my God, this is just so brilliant. She was like, she said, I was just about to tell you that the wine in my last picture actually was apple cider from Ikea. <laughs> um, and then she says, when I scrolled into the newspaper and this picture showed up, an advertisement with apples in it over an article about Ikea. Funny. And then she says, my mum isn't well either. My street address contains the word wood as well. And my mum and I are always joking about how her small Audi can do anything for us. It's like Mary Poppins, right? The Audi seemed to be the magic car. Um, here is a picture of a trip to Ikea where I bought way too much, but we managed to get it all in the amazing Audi, as always. I mean, just, this is just so pretty and I love it. And then I got another one. Hang, ha, um, had Tangled again, I see the light. Also had eight carat diamond and fast car is funny because I've had car issues the last couple of weeks. Valentine's stuff is coming up recently and I met a lady and her dog was called Valentine's. Um, two hearts beating as one, just one mind for Collins, everything comes up roses. Um, I keep getting the phrase Eiffel, Eiffel Tower for you in meditation, hence the French connection coming through again. Ah, the French connection. I had um, the French connection on the bus today, an American in Paris, which turned up at my billboard, which has brought me full circle because the lady who commented with the rainbow child today, that was the message that was for you. And when it ended up on my billboard, oh my God, I've just made that connection. So the lady who commented who has the rainbow child, I saw an American in Paris today um, on a bus. So that's the message for you. Okay, so the next thing is, which is why the, all of these messages are so truly, truly, truly remarkable. And I thank every single one of you for joining in. This is from the lovely little girl, Anna, 
who is a crystal child and how amazing is all of this that all these amazing children are get? I mean it's just honestly I feel like I, could, I just feel blown away so this is the message from the crystal child love is a signal of Anna so thank you Anna I know you're going to be listening love is a signal of light a bright light that's even on in the night a signal is a sign that my life will change in the past couple of minutes to relive a secret that you have had in the past life of you. You might have struggles in your twin flame's life, but you just need to give them your positive energy and tell them what's on your mind because it will have them think, do I accept this person? Do I love this person's personality? Is this person someone who makes my puzzle completed? Oh, oh my goodness, Anna, that's amazing. So just to hear that last bit again, it will have them think, do I accept this person? Do I love this person's personality? Is this person someone who makes my puzzle completed? Well, the answer is yes, yes, yes. And this is what I mean by everyone that is supporting on this journey. There is so much support around for Twin Flames. This is a channeled message from a nine-year-old little girl yesterday who doesn't have a clue about all this stuff, you know? So this is what I mean. This is why it's so amazing because it truly is a wonderful journey, right? A really, really wonderful, magical journey. And there is so much support because we are here to change the way. I know I keep saying it, but this is what you have to live in. Live in this. This is a message from a child nine years old, right? So remember that your twin wants you to be happy. That is, that is happy. He, <laughs> I mean, it's just perfect. It's happy and it's also H for healing. So, you know, if you want to come to me for healing and get, you know, the messages that your twin souls want you to know to help put you on your highest path, to help put you into your reunion, then please do, because I'm guided to do a January special. I'm also guided to do a crystal grid that anchors the energies into your physical reality. So you can start to see all of these messages, like all of these people are sharing. Everyone that's coming to healing from me, everyone that's coming to join the crystal grid. You know, they are really, really amazing, I must say. I am blown away and... You know, I'm very, very honoured, you know, to be doing this for you because 